Hey guys, it's Michaela at Cold Creek Nurseries in Aiken, South Carolina, and I want to share with you some exciting plants that can go by your mailbox. We always have people come in and ask for the mailbox plant, and there's more than just one mailbox plant. The one that we commonly go to is called the Mandevilla. Mandevilla come in pinks, they come in whites, they come in reds. You plant them at the base of your mailbox, they vine up around your mailbox. They're pretty all summer long. We have a long growing season from the end of frost to the beginning of frost again. So these make wonderful full sun heat tolerant plants. There's also some new ones that have come that come out and this one is coral orange. This happens to be my favorite color this year, but there is other colors besides just the red mandevilla that you can put around your mailbox. I've got a couple of other great suggestions for you. And one, another one of my favorites, and you know I don't tell you anything but about my favorites. So this is the highest in bean, Ruby Moon. It's a great viner. It has a um, lavender color flower on it. And then after that, it gets a purple seed pod. So you get a lot of additional interest besides just the flower. And again, just like the Mandevilla, the highest in bean is going to be a great hummingbird attractor. Again, all full sun plants. And then we have the Morning Glory Cardinal Climber, a great, 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 some people call it the hummingbird plant. Okay, Nicole, the beautiful red flower attracts the hummingbirds. This is a great one. You can see it likes to climb up and over that mailbox. The last one I'm going to share with you can take a little bit of shade. And this is the Clarodendrum Bleeding Heart. It comes in two colors. One is a red on red. The other is a white flower with another red flower coming out. And this is the highly sought after white Clarodendrum Bleeding Heart. And it can take part shade. So add some of these great climbers to your mailbox.